Hello and welcome to the PolyEngine. PolyEngine is a universal 2D engine with integrated custom procedural programming language in text and visual form. The engine allows you to create basic simulations, operations, prototypes, presentations and games by creating a logical node branches in built-in visual programming language or writing directly in source code. The engine is fully ready for beginners and new programmers as a clear and simple introduction to the computer mathematics and algorithms with fun way. The engine also allows you to build projects as a standalone executable program, which makes the app accessible for anyone. The style of the visual programming is very similar to the Unreal Engine blueprints or Scratch. Syntax and semantics of the integrated language can be compared to C, PHP, VBS or Python. In this video, I am going to introduce the essential editor environment and user interaction with the editor. So let's get into the engine. The wizard window popped out and you can choose your available projects or create a new one. Write the name of your project and let's keep the other settings. We won't use any template and we will not use any logic for now. The environment is divided into five panels. The first one is the top menu panel that contains basic functions of the engine. In the file rollout you can save, load and even build a project, preview in the explorer and exit the project. In the edit rollout you can clear the editor workspace, which obviously clears your wall editor, change the background color, change the application size, which will correspond to the final application size. Let's say we want an app of size 800 times 600. The lines will show up and you can clearly see what size your application will look like. Next, we've got a snapping, which is a great function to place any selected object on grid. Let's type some number. You can see that grid is changing. We will see some action later. And finally, we can align the selected object to the specific direction. In the window rollout, you can open Drawing Editor and Scripting Editor, which manages overall application logic. We will talk about these two later. The second panel is the left one, called Hierarchy, which tells us about objects that exist in our scene. Let's see what will change when we create a new object from the right panel. As you can see, the hierarchy changes and receives all existing objects in our scene. Each element contains object's name and if you press the element, you make a selection for a specific object. You can also remove the object by pressing the red button. The third panel is right under the hierarchy, called Resources, which holds files that we can import into the project. We are talking about images, texts, documents, and so on. We can add a new resource from computer, for example an image, so we can assign the image onto any object. The fourth panel is called Inspector, which holds the essential information about currently selected object in our project. You can change these values as you wish and edit your selected object. However, not all object types contain all attributes that you can see in the Inspector, but you will see later. The fifth and the last panel is called Tools panel, which contains all available objects that we can create. Let's create all of them. We have created a panel, button, text field, label, slider and the last object is just a drawing editor, which you can use to create your own objects. You are free to manipulate with the object's transform. To change the location, drag the object and move with the mouse. To change the size, drag one of the little gray squares again 
and move with the mouse. If you would like to see how your application will look like in the production, press the execute button. The scripting window will show up as it's required for the editor in testing purpose. And we can see our final scene. Let's draw our own object in drawing editor. You can access to the drawing editor by pressing the tool button or you can select the button in window panel. The drawing editor is like a very simplified paint program, like we know from the window system. You can draw free lines, straight lines, squares, circles, fill shapes, erase drawings, and you can also use a special effect tool. The actual drawing size is the final image size. If you'd like to change the drawing size, you can proceed the action in edit, set drawing size. Drawing editor also allows you to enable snapping feature, which may help you in more precious drawing. Let's draw something. When your drawing is ready, you can make it transparent by pressing the transparent background in edit. Let's finish the drawing and save it to the resources. Now select the panel and assign the crit drawing resource. Done. We have made our first handmade object. I think this is all for the Editor Workspace Essentials. In the next video, we'll create our first behaviors, logic, and I will introduce the visual programming and poly engine. Thank you for watching and bye!